Crypto airdrops are a great way to build your crypto portfolio basically from zero and on the other hand also learn about new blockchains, new apps, new protocols and so on because you do different testing, you're trying different things and basically you're trying to learn new stuff. So in this video I'm going to talk about SUI, the new blockchain built on Move. Uh, it's very similar to Aptos when it comes to architecture. The team is also coming from uh, Facebook, the previous Meta, uh, and they're building some amazing technology on this new smart contract language called Move. Uh, so let's get into it. People are expecting that there will be some kind of an airdrop for community for doing different tasks. And the best way to start interacting with the blockchain is of course installing the wallet and trying to do some kind of a stuff on a testnet or a devnet. With SWE, we have already a devnet, uh, so let me see, let me show you how you can do some very basic stuff so far. Uh, of course, all this is potential, it's not guaranteed that you get any kind of airdrop or whether there will be any kind of airdrop, but people are expecting that, so I'm going to cover that uh, as well. Uh, the first thing you can do is basically you can go to sweet.bluemove.net. This is a website with NFT marketplace that is coming into place. Uh, they are already working on um, on Aptos. You can change basically uh, from Sweet to Aptos and back. But the thing that we are interested in is first first of all installing a wallet and then claiming some free Sweet uh, testnet tokens. So. Uh, going to sweep.bloom.net, you can basically click on connect the wallet. You won't have any wallet, but you will be able to choose. Uh, and once you click on sweep wallet, this is like the, the wallet coming from the sweep team. You'll be taken to uh, Google Play Store and you'll be able to install that as a Chrome extension uh, to your browser. And then having that, you'll be able to connect and you'll be able to also click on sweep for set. Sweet for set basically gives you uh, free tokens uh, right away. It sh they should appear on your uh, on your wallet right away. I had some problems with making it run because it gave me a couple of errors. Uh, I need to try several times and then I came back another day to, to do it. Finally, it worked. So I have uh, sweet sweet tokens and that's basically it for the for claiming part. Now, uh, I don't think you can buy anything with those tokens. However, there is one website where you can try doing different stuff and that's free um, names.com. Uh, I will put the link down below uh, as for everything. And basically this is the, the standard thing where you claim different, uh, different names. I don't think it's working uh, well yet. I tried, so for example, I tried uh, searching for some names and claiming them. Uh, so for example, this one is available. I should be able to claim that. Uh, I couldn't, I got an error that there was like some problem with the SWE uh, devnet being reset. Uh, so uh, I left it for now. You can also try whether that works for you. Of course, registering domains is one of the, of the cool stuff. It's really popular with if with ENS domains. So it probably will be popular with SWE as well. Another thing you can do is, of course, you can join Discord. Uh, so ba basically going to uh, to the community, going to the Discord, uh, you can go directly from sweet.io. I will also probably put the link down below. The link is super easy to remember. It's discord.gg slash sui, S-U-I, uh, and that's it. And then you also can claim free testnet tokens on a Discord in one of the channels. Uh, they actually write about that uh, in, a, uh, in a documentation. So for example, request gas tokens. If you go here, you'll be able to see that uh, you can join the Discord and you can basically find your address. And then the only thing you can request the address by writing uh, exclamation mark faucet and giving your, uh, giving your wallet address. And that's basically it. There are a couple of things you can do if you're more technical. Uh, I don't think that work like, and also if you're, if you're lucky because there are like many problems with connecting to the devnet uh, and so on. Uh, so you have to be lucky. If you go to the documentation, I will give the link down below uh, also you'll be able to see the whole instruction how to connect to the Sweet DevNet because you can basically connect to the Sweet DevNet and also claim the test tokens directly from uh, from the command line. So it's super easy and well, super easy once you know what you do, what you're doing, but basically it's pretty straightforward because there are a couple of comments. You have to install a bunch of stuff, a bunch of depositories, but basically you can have a note uh, for yourself. You can have this weak client uh, on your computer. 
Uh, and this is pretty great because first of all, of course, you can uh, start by requesting directly uh, things. You can also do stuff that it's not possible, I think, by clicking different things. Uh, that is creating and minting an NFT. And that might be also interesting and might be uh, something that you have to do in order to be eligible to get an airdrop. Uh, you can uh, mint an example NFT. And this is the result. So uh, if you want to go through that instruction on how to install everything, I will also put the link down below exactly to this to this thing, what you have to do in order to install that. It is pretty straightforward. You need to be lucky in order to connect to everything, uh, but in general, it should work and you should be able to create like very simple NFT uh, by yourself and then be able to see that NFT on the Explorer on the DevNet. Uh, as you remember with Aptos, in order to, class, to, to qualify for uh, Aptos airdrop, you, had, you either had to be in the program, uh, incentivized program, or you had to mean the special zero, uh, zero Aptos NFT. Uh, it might be similar with SWE, we don't know that. Maybe it's worth trying, so definitely I will give you um, a link to that below. So that's right now everything when it comes to SWE. I think we're like a couple of months away from, from the official launch. There's like still DevNet, there will be a testnet still. So there's a lot of tests going forward. A lot of things are not working properly right now, but definitely the team is super open. There are like many newcomers on, a, uh, on Discord. So if you're interested in getting that through, don't join the Discord, see what's going on. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crypto news, crypto updates regarding airdrops and a bunch of other crypto apps. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.